Why are we doing all this? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which in heaven is perfect. Remember, we've looked at this verse several times. Perfect, the word perfect means complete. Complete, have a definite goal to be complete in character. Now, we can't be perfect in this life. But our goal is to be perfect. You know, this time of the year, and I use baseball teams because they play a lot of games. This time of the year, a month or so, the baseball teams got going playing games. And I'm sure it was their goal, or it should have been, to win every game. But they can't. And they don't. I don't even know if we have an unbeaten team right now. They can't and they don't. But you see, when they lose that first game, the next morning the goal is to win all the rest of the games. When they lose that second game, the goal is to win all the rest of the games. You can't be perfect in all of these all of the time but you can be perfect in any one of these at any time. Got that? You can't be perfect in all of these all of the time, but you can be perfect in any one of these at any time. When the situation comes up, you can say, Oh, Holy Spirit, give me the power. You need to get up every morning and Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you and direct you. So when that comes up, you act and react like Jesus tells you to right here. Now, we don't always do that. But that is our goal. Strive to be more perfect more of the time. That's what Jesus is asking us to do. Because then, perfect according to God's Word, and His mandate here, then that's when they'll know that we're Christian. Yes, they know by our love for each other, but if we follow this, they'll know we love them too. I gave you enough to chaw on today. <laughs>